what I like to do is show you how to find the, the, uh, the asymptotes of a, uh, <clears throat> of a problem like this, of a function. So, rational function. So, 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 so. First, the first thing we want to do um, is let's go and look and see what our vertical asymptotes is. Now, a vertical asymptote is uh, something that's fairly easy because all we're going to do is we're going to set the bottom equal to zero. And when you think of a vertical asymptote, um, it's going to be something that your graph is going to approach, but it's never going to uh, touch or cross. That's for vertical asymptotes. So we have zero equals x squared times x minus 2. Now the reason why I said it can never cross, well, if I can't have an x value equal to zero because I can't have zero on the bottom of my fraction. Therefore, I know that my domain is never going to include a fraction with a zero as the denominator. So therefore, if I set my denot if I set the my polynomial on the denominator equal to zero, I'll find which values make my denominator zero. Therefore, giving me my vertical asymptotes. So here, um, I can actually, if you remember, if you can write this as a pair of linear factors, uh, which you can, which would be like x times x all the way through, you have to set each factor equal to zero. So I say zero equals x squared and x minus 2 equals 0. Therefore, when I take the square root, I get x equals 0. And when I add 2, x equals 2. Therefore, I have two asymptotes for this problem. I have x equals 0 and x equals 2 for my vertical asymptotes. Now, to find my horizontal, I need to look at the degree of my polynomial. And for the degree of my polynomial, uh, on the bottom, well, let's see up, up, let's look up top. I don't see an x value, do I? So therefore, there still is an x value. It's just like, um, it's like having, if I say x, you say, what's the coefficient of x? Well, we all say it's one, right? Because there's a one in front of that x. We just don't always write one times x because we know one times x equals x. Well, it's the same thing up here. We, there's no x up there, but we can write an x to the zero power because x to the zero power equals one and two times one will equal two. And the reason why I want to write that is because we want to compare, and if I was to FOIL this out, you can distribute this two over x cubed minus two x. If I now compare, all right, my degree and my degree, or if, you know, when it's simplified out, it doesn't matter either way for this problem. But what you notice is whatever your degree up top is smaller than the degree on the bottom, Whenever up top is smaller than the degree on the bottom, we have a horizontal asymptote is equal to y is equal to zero. All right, so therefore that's how you find the vertical, that's how you find the horizontal. Um, and let's just leave it for that.